China has identified the cause of a mysterious pneumonia outbreak in Wuhan city. And it's from the same family that caused the deadly SARS epidemic 17 years ago. So we were first aware of something happening with COVID-19 um, back at the end of 2019. We have colleagues on the ground in China and we received a call literally a week before Christmas. And that was our first uh, introduction to you know, what was to become the pandemic. We all felt the urgency because we knew there weren't any tests in the marketplace, which meant we had no tools to combat the pandemic. And therefore, the urgency led to us all feeling the pressure to get something out to help people in the UK and across the world. So uh, as, a, as a fast responding uh, infectious disease testing company, um, we, we decided that, that we would actually look into what data was available globally uh, about this new emerging virus and you know, whether we were planning to manufacture a, a product to, to help with this virus. And all of that took place within the first two weeks of January. And Sally, a Hampshire-based company, says it's actually created the world's first commercial test for coronavirus. Michelle Cross went to meet them. This kit is made from scratch in the laboratory next door. One tube from each batch is then brought into this lab and tested with positive control. If it passes the criteria, then the batch is dispatched and demand has been high. Demand's been significant since the day we launched our first product. But thankfully, because of the resources and planning ahead of us that was put into place by our senior management team to make sure that everything was in place, we've been able to accommodate that demand since the beginning. So the demand has always been high, but you know, we've always been able to meet that demand. So R&D at Novasites is able to be so responsive because we collaborate, not just with our sales colleagues, but with our marketing colleagues. And uh, this group of departments are able to feed into R&D the market needs. And the variants and our response to the variants is a great example of that. It's been pretty chaotic at times. It's um, stressful, absolutely. The, 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 the environment's a very demanding one, uh, very fast paced indeed, but also very rewarding. You know, we're creating products that are having a profound impact on global healthcare and having that as a motivation behind what we do is, is all the energy that we need to, to get up and get on with our jobs. We had several logistical challenges which we had to navigate at Novasite in order to supply the demand that the NHS and our other customers globally um, required. The demand on products went up greatly globally so in addition to su getting supply from our current suppliers, we also had to research and resource from alternative suppliers, which you know, um, proved difficult sometimes. Uh, there were issues where other companies were offering inflated prices in order to jump the queue and there was gazumping tactics were resorted to. So as a team, the Novasite group did really well in order to supply on demand as required. Novosite is a clinical diagnostics company will continue to um, respond and rapidly respond to outbreaking and emerging um, clinical threats. Specificity and sensitivity are grades of how, how good or how accurately you can trust the result from a molecular test. The Novosite uh, products have been independently validated and are at the top of the tree when it comes to specificity and sensitivity. So Novasite is really well positioned to respond to the emergence of these variants of concern. And this is because in 2020, we were developing and evaluating technologies that can be applied in this very case setting. So we've already launched our products uh, for um, uh, variants of concern, uh, the SNPSIG range. And so we're really well positioned to respond to the variants of concern. So dealing with unknown viruses and developing tests to detect those is very challenging in terms of getting reliable information that we can develop our tests off of. Within the Novasite group, there is a wealth of experience within our bioinformaticians, within our design team, to allow us to do that and respond quickly and continually monitor the progression of information and any mutations which may occur within whichever target. Um, so for us, looking at the partnering piece, we had to 
look for a supplier who could support what we needed to do, the volume of our testing, the quality of our testing and the scale that we have. And Novasite have been instrumental in ensuring that the oil and gas industry and the ability to PCR test in large numbers has been progressed. And that's, for us, that's what keeps these helicopters flying, that's what keeps these oil rigs producing oil and it keeps the lights on. Primer design test. And it was one of the early ones that came out. We wanted to try it out as quickly as possible. I thought as soon as we start to validate it, we'll see any problems. We didn't really have any, but it, it's, a, it's a nice assay that you could actually run a variety of different ways. It's, you know, it works on open platforms. And for us, it was a no brainer. This pandemic has taught us for the future that absolutely anything is possible when you have the right team. Novasite now has a proven track record of producing products with real clinical utility. So the world can depend on Novasite to produce products that are best in class, not just for COVID-19, but for all the diseases that are required in the healthcare industry across the globe. Novasite has uh, been able to deliver during the last 18 months at a time of need. Um, and we see no reason to need to change our structure, our policy, or our approach to that continuing de uh, demand, but also new needs in the future. So we will keep doing what we think is right and what works well for us today.